Hello and welcome back to another boring episode here on the Skizzlecraft server. My name is Welderfish. Uh, I have been busy as you can tell from the time lapses. I do have a brand new dead tree. Yep, a very large dead tree. Mm -hmm. I didn't put one here in between these two. I will in a bit. Uh, we have a bank and we have a general store. This is the first one that has a gap. There is a reason for that. I am going to make a little scene here. Uh, the inside of the bank is done. Yes, we'll talk about the beacon here in a bit. So if we go inside the bank here, we got the bars, we got the bookshelves leading up here. And there is a function to this bank because my chess monster was getting out of hand. So I went ahead and for the first time ever built an automatic sorter, which was... A challenge to say the least um, some of my filters did break others haven't so I got to go through and fix them not every single one is set yet uh, but it's looking pretty good I basically have the log version in here and then any variant I have had I come in and I just manually load it um, I don't know if there's a way to have it to where it picks up the other ones again I am not redstone proficient here are some things I still need to create filters for uh, we are moving along here. This has made building so much easier, especially the bank and the general store. I am trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of here besides this scaffolding. Um, I need to either have a water tunnel up here to the general store or some kind of piston launcher that launches me up to the general store. I think that would be cool. I'd have to look into that. Currently, the only way out of my storage system is through the scaffolding here. And as we come around... Ugh, Fred. Alright, let's talk about Fred. Oh, that noise can only mean one thing. What in the world? Francisco Roberto Eugene Delgado. What are you doing with that donkey? No! You can't eat the mules! No! Go eat a skeleton or a zombie or something. Do not hurt the mule. You cannot eat it. Fine, I'll let you play with it, but you do not eat it. I know, I'm sorry. Seriously, folks, I, I, I just... This, this Kraken is a nightmare. He does not listen, never has, even with the original welder fish from his dimension, never, ever listen to him at all. This is going to be a fun series. Okay, enough about Fred here. Let's go ahead and finish something off that we've been meaning to do for quite some time. Saloon, done. Bank, done. Door, done. We're looking pretty good here. Gel house, saloon, bank, store, butcher, butcher, butcher shop. Looking good. I really like these trees. I'm gonna be putting in similar trees, a lot larger in some of these spots. Um, some of these trees I just haven't got to trimming. Uh, there is one over here, this big old pine with a really large bushies hanging out. I really want a large bush tree. Now, I know we ended the last episode talking about the anti-dolphin religion, but that was more of a joke. Um, there are two main factions or religions on the server, and that is the Church of Wheat and the Church of Pickles. So 
I am going to try and talk with members of these factions and see if anyone can persuade me to join. And then I will be putting their banners in my church. Though I don't have recordings of what transpired earlier this week, but I was in the nether. I was looking for netherite. So I got netherite gear, ancient debris, if you will. Um, and I died. I was trying to bed bomb and it did not go as planned and I died uh, in the nether and thought I lost everything but thankfully to some very helpful handy server mates such as feral golem I was able to get my gear back so I have these now two of a kind rare welderfish plushes that I'm giving them so I have one for feral and then the other person who helped me out was Randy, my neighbor, who's also an admin. So that was quite useful. And if I believe, yep, Randy. So Randy, too, gets a now two of a kind welderfish head. So let's talk about the whole point of this series and this server. This man in the background, Skizzle Man, this is his server. He is a famous YouTuber, and he created this entire server just so he can get better for the their life series and so what i want to do is help him and i want to help him by creating a certain kind of redstone course that i think he would do quite well and hopefully in my own opinion would remind him of his greatest asset see if you've ever watched any of his series such as the naked and scared or their sky block one of the things he's really good at is using a bow. So what I want to do is do some redstoney target blocks throughout here where he can walk around and hit certain targets in windows, maybe coming around the buildings, and focus on honing in his bow skills for the next life series. The thing is, I'm not that great with redstone. So I'm going to have to look up quite a few videos I don't know exactly when his next tour will be, but I'm hoping within the next three episodes I can get that set up. So when he does come around, he can go through the town and have a little shoot off here. So let's talk about my nether portal. Currently, it is underground. Uh, the reason why is there is originally a crawl here. And so I just built it in here just in case anything spawned. They'd be stuff down here i still like it here uh the thing i did realize that when i made my tunnel which it's gonna have to be redone and it's horrible looking i know i had it set at 98 and uh one of the nights i was up for quite a period of time i reread the rules and realized my portal had to be set at 100 which is why it was off from the nether tunnel down here so i will have to redo that make this look nicer raise it up a bit which means i'll have to go back out in another and deal with gas which is going to be fun i hate the nether i hate the nether but i need to have something here to where i can get down into the nether portal quite easily so i have a little design that i found online uh for a fun way to get into the portal that would fit the theme so let's go ahead and build it Yep, we have a gallo here. So this is going to be our way to our nether portal. So basically, as you saw me do at the end of the time lapse, just going to sneak right in here, hit this, boom, down we go. I will, however, need to come up with a way out of here. Maybe a couple gates right here. 
All right, I think we have completed a lot for this episode. We have built two buildings, sorting system, a tentacle, a way into the nether tunnel, and now I'm working at fixing the nether tunnel. So that is going to complete it for me for this episode. I do know that it will be out a little bit later than I have been recently. I do apologize about that. But thank you again, everyone, for watching. I really do appreciate all your support. And in the words of my father, what are we talking about?